Revit Pure presents how to create efficient plan nodes. In this video, you will learn how to create a plan node system using generic annotation families. The system uses the power of Revit schedules and makes it really simple to create and modify plan nodes. Here are the six steps you need to follow to create this plan node system. Step number one, create a bubble generic annotation family. So create a new family. Scroll down to the annotations folder. Select metric generic annotation. Delete the red text, then use the line tool to create a circle in the middle of the family. Step number two, add these four parameters. The next step is to create four family parameters. Open the family type. Click on new parameter. Create a new parameter called node number using the instance properties and the text settings. Repeat the same process to create another parameter called node text. Then create another one called view type. Also create a parameter called text visibility that will use the yes no setting and which will be grouped under visibility. Now that you have created all the required parameters, you are ready to create a label. Go to the Create tab and use the Label tool. Click in the middle of the bubble and select Note Number as a parameter to add. Change the sample value to something like X. Edit the text size so it fits inside the bubble. Copy the label to create another one just next to it. Set the text horizontal align to left and adjust the boundaries. Click on Edit Label. Then replace the Note Number parameter by Note Text. Finally, add a visibility parameter to the text using the text visibility parameter that we've created earlier. The family is now complete. You can save it and load it into your project. Step number three, use the symbol tool to create a node bubble. Once your family is loaded, go to the annotation tab and select the symbol tool. Create a new node, then fill out the number and the text description. Use the Modify tab to create the leader. In the Instance Properties, you can check and uncheck the Visibility parameter for the node text. Also, add a value to the View Type parameter. In this case, we use the Floor Plan type. You can now use Copy and Paste to create as many nodes as you need. Step number four, create a node block schedule. Since we are using a generic annotation family, you have to select the node block tool, select the correct family and enter the name for the schedule. Then add the node number, node text and view type parameters in the fields. In the filter menu, filter the schedule using the view type parameter. Set equals floor plan. In the sorting grouping menu, sort by node number, then by node text. Make sure to uncheck itemize every instance in the bottom. The final step is to check the hidden field box for view type in the formatting menu of the node block. Your schedule is now complete. Step number five, adjust the nodes using the schedule. What is great about this node system is that you can easily adjust the numbers in the schedule. As you see, when you change a number in the schedule, the nodes in the plan view are also affected. If you have identical nodes, they will appear grouped in the schedule. That means if you change a number, all nodes with the same number and text will be affected. You can start adding nodes for other view type, like elevations. 
Don't forget to adjust the view type parameter in the instance properties. To create another schedule for the elevation, simply duplicate the floor plan node schedule. In the filters, replace floor plan by elevation. Step number 6. Create an all nodes schedule to manage. The all nodes schedule can be used to manage all nodes in the project. Duplicate one of the nodes schedule. Remove the filter. Also, add the count parameter in the fields. In the sorting grouping menu, sort by view type, then note number, then note text. Add a header for the view type. Your all nodes schedule is now complete. Another cool feature is the highlighted model in the upper right of your screen. Select a note in the schedule, then use highlighted model to show it in the view.